We all hate Bastiodon. It's just a bulky, annoying thing. Now, you can usually escape it by going to the Ultra League. However, the Master League, as you will see today, is not safe. Let's get to the battles. Alright, so into the first battle, we lead Dragonite into Solgaleo. This is not good. Basically, Steel types just kind of wreck this team, as Dragonite is really my best response. That really does prove how weak this team is to Steel types. But I don't really have any anti steals that I can run, because, like, the Machamp that I have, it's not good into Steel Psychic types. Now, the opponent switches into Lugia, and it is time. Bastiodon uh, somehow loses CMP, can't fathom why. But look at that! <laughs> Aeroblast doesn't even do half! Who, who said this thing wasn't tanky in the Master? Like, I want to talk to them. But now, look at this, like, they can keep going for Dragon Tails, and they're not even going to make it to another Aeroblast before I make it to a Stone Edge. And they're going to make it to another Aeroblast here, but does it KO? I don't know. I'm going to shield just to be safe. It might have. The opponent ends up going for a Sky Attack, and then they send in Solgaleo with the Psychic Fangs trying to snipe. Now, Psychic Fangs does not take out Bastiodon, and we're going to catch the next one, because the next one probably would. Now, I'm going to end up going for a bit of extra farm, I farmed too much though, and now I'm down both shields, which is not good. But on the bright side, they can't catch because they did just switch in. So I can just go for Dragon Claw after Dragon Claw. I really should have thrown a superpower here, but I was too scared to debuff myself. But in the end, it really doesn't look like it matters too much. They're going to be able to go for a Psychic Fangs, but I can send in Togekiss. Togekiss will get a charm, farm down, and the opponent sends in Lugia. Oh, they must be really weak in the back. They go for the Sky Attack, that does not do much. In the back, it's Zekrom. Now, this looks good on paper, but we need to catch the Fusion Bolt. And that's exactly what we do. We catch the Fusion Bolt, and now Bastidon will get taken out, but Togekiss gets the Charm farm down, and we take that game. Alright, into the next battle, and we lead Dragonite into Mewtwo. Now, I probably shouldn't have mentioned this before, but these are handpicked battles. I'm not going to show the battles where... Bastion gets one shot because those are boring but just know that i did not have a good win rate with this the opponent sends in togekiss though and Bastion has found its target i'll make it to a stone edge we lose cmp we're gonna lose cmp to everything but they actually went for the ancient power they weren't they weren't at the aura sphere so i don't even need to shield now i can go for a stone edge that doesn't do much but it's fine the low attack ivs on my bastion kind of showing there this is the greatly rank 1 Bastiodon. It is level 50, so it is a menace in the Great League, but I really don't use it too often because I feel bad. But this is a level 50 Bastiodon, but the IVs do mean it, it still is under 1,500. Now the opponent is going to have to either shield this Dragon Claw or catch it. It looks like they did catch it on a Tyranitar, but that works in my favor as Togekiss now just fully charms down. They don't make it to a second Brutal Swing here, and Brutal Swing will get shielded, but we have a shield in play, and the Mewtwo will basically just get Charm Farm down. They need a, a Psycho Cut Farm down to win, but they're not getting that. So we can just shield this Psy Strike, and right there you see a Discord message. That was someone fact-checking when I said I was hunting Ho-Oh. Like, they sent a picture of the PV Poke matchups, and <laughs> it was funny. But now we lead Dragonite into Metagross. Now, this is the Shadow, so I'm very go much going to bait, because they're probably going to shield. They do, and then they send in Palkia Origin. Now, Palkia Origin and Dialga Origin both crush Bastiodon, because Palkia is just going to land a single uh, Aqua Tail, and that nearly one-shots. Bastiodon does tank it, though, so I give it credit for that. It does tank an Aqua Tail, but not very well. The opponent sends in Metagross. And I can go for an Ancient Power. I'm not enough for a Flamethrower, but my opponent was not counting, so we're actually able to get the shield. Now, I can hopefully go for a Super Power. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to catch. And they do catch, and they catch it onto... It, that looked like a Zekrom. Now, Zekrom will tank the Super Power, but now I can send in Bastiodon. And one Fusion Bolt does not KO. So, if I'd expect they'd go for a Crunch, just try and fish for a debuff. They do go for the Crunch does quite a bit of damage, but they're still never Dragon Breath farming me down. Granted, I'm still never Smackdown farming them down, but that's kinda expected. 
Now, I'm not shielding here. I need the shield up for the Dragonite, as the Smackdowns plus the Stone Edge have gotten them into the Dragon Tail range. And now they can send in the Metagross. They're throwing a move here. That doesn't really matter. I have a shield, but I would have tanked the extra bullet punch. Like, I would have survived the extra turn that it would have taken them to throw. So I'm actually able to go for the Superpower, take out the Metagross, and take that game. We see Kyogre on the lead in the next battle. This is a very good lead. The opponent sends in Reshiram. Now, I am going to send in Bastiodon, but this is kind of like just not going to work. They're going to go for a Fusion Flare. That does a lot of damage, but that gets tanked pretty well for Bastiodon standards. But the opponent does shield the Stone Edge. So despite, you know, being a 1,497 combat power Pokemon, we're still able to pressure a shield from a Reshiram. I think that's quite funny. Now, I will be sending in Togekiss, just because I think that Togekiss can just get thrown away here. Fusion Flare will do some nice damage, but now I can get a full farm down, and the opponent sends in the Kyogre, but I can make it to an Aura Sphere. Now, Aura Sphere will get some nice damage or a shield. The opponent does let it go, but there's Zacian in the back. Yeah, we're, this is really not looking good. Like, they baited out the Steel type. Granted, Zacian crushes Bastion anyways, but... Ignore that. But so now we're going to be able to shield this play rough. And despite being up two shields, if the fact that I'm running Dragon Claw plus Superpower is kind of not good. Like if I was running Steel Wing, this is actually a very good matchup up a uh, shield. But because I'm not, it's not. Good. The opponent goes for another play rough. I need to try and catch a play rough. But I do farm up. I try, but I don't. The opponent sends back in the Kyogre. They get the farm down. And I will lose that game. We see Ho-Oh on the lead in the next battle. Very good lead. However, I'm running Dragon Tail, so it would be hard to throw on good timing, as they would be able to make it to a Brave Bird before I'd have an opportunity to throw on good timing. Fortunately, the opponent sends in Sylveon, and Togekiss does very well into Sylveon. I can go for the Ancient Power. This will not take them out, but they do decide to shield anyways, and I'm fine with that, because if they shield, that means I'm perfectly comfortable returning a shield. They go for the Moon Blast, so they're definitely not making it to another move. I do make a weird play i get myself as low as possible to give the ho less farm but looking back that was a misplay because i could have made it to an ancient power now i can't on the bright side we have bastiodon they go for a solar meme that doesn't even take out bastiodon and now i will be able to make it to a stone edge and the opponent has to shield this and like they have to shield this and they want to keep the hollow alive they do but we just have the dragonite with the dragon claw they lose a hundred energy and Dragonite up a shield does pretty well into most things. And it's a root in the back, so... Yeah, this game's over. Then go for a move. I will be shielding. Like, I know Zerud usually runs Dark Paws and Power Rip. But beyond that, I really haven't seen much. So if it, if it did have, like, a move, like Ice Beam or something, I don't know, some surprise nuke, I could have lost, so I was shielding it just to be safe. We do take the game, though. We see Garchomp on the lead in the next battle. And running Dragon Tail is on my Dragonite is quite nice here. Because the opponent, if they try and just go for a Sand Tomb, we will basically get a Simul KO. Now, this opponent does have a high enough level Garchomp. Like, I think it is a Simul KO if they're, like, slightly underleveled. But if it's maxed out, it's not. Now, they set in Melmetal, and this is really not good. Melmetal just kind of crushes my whole team, because Bastion gets one shot by Superpower. And I don't really know what, what else I can do. So, I am going to Shield here. I need to grab a Shield with the Aura Sphere. So that Dragonite can have the, like, the, I think, two superpowers. I banked a ton of energy, so it might even be two. But I have to send it in. I go for a Dragon Claw bait. I have one less Dragon Claw. Sorry, one less Dragon Tail than the superpower. And they let it go. So that's a very amazing call on their end. But they do no shield the next superpower. And in the back, it's Yveltal. So this might not be over. Now, I will lose CMP. I'm going to be saying we lose CMP a lot. I do shield because it might have been a Focus Blast, but it's an Oblivion Wing. So they might be running Focus Blast. I don't know. They do shield the Stone Edge, though, but we're not going to be able to win CMP or make it to enough moves. And they are running Dark Pulse, so I don't know why they didn't throw that before. However, they make it to another Dark Pulse, and it's a sad day seeing Bastion lose to a Flying type. But it's a massive combat power difference, so what, what can you do? We see Melmetal on the lead in the next battle, and I do like running Dragon Tail because 
Like in a Melmetal, if they just throw right away, they actually give me two turns worth of energy. They send in Mewtwo though, and I switch into Bastion, get the uh, Smackdown through, and I catch the Side Strike. Now, Side Strike does a considerable amount of damage. However, Bastion tanked that fairly well, if I'm being honest. Unfortunately, a Stone Edge won't take him out, but Bastion does tank two Side Strikes, which is something some other Master League Pokemon can't even do. But now, we are able to get farmed down, but Dragonite will get a farm down of its own. The opponent sends in Melmetal, they will have a move, I can shield, and now it's just a baiting game. They throw a superpower, so I was extremely confused by this move, like why would they throw a superpower? And it immediately occurred to me, they must not be running Rock Slide, they must be running something else. They go for another superpower, and they send in Garchomp. Now I farm up a bit over 200 energy, sorry, over 100 energy, which is not the best, but... I can send in Togekiss, so the extra energy I gave them is very much worthless. Now, the Melmetal can come back in, but I suddenly see a Win Con here. I can get a shield with this Aura Sphere, because whatever move they have, they can't make it to a superpower, or sorry, they can't make it to that move in time, because all Melmetal's other moves are expensive. So, they actually, they're actually running Thunderbolt, so that's quite cool. But now, Dragonite has a superpower, we win CMP, we take him out, and we take that game. We see uh, Dragonite into the mirror in the next battle. And this Dragonite is slightly lower uh, level in mine. The opponent makes a very nice catch onto Lugia. However, they don't know that they are about to get bastied onto the Master League. They, they thought Lugia was safe from this thing. They were completely wrong. Now, I'm going to be able to make it to a Stone Edge before they're even able to make it to an Aeroblast. Because since Lugia runs uh, Aeroblast and Sky Attack, Lugia is fully walled. Um, except for a boost, there's nothing they can really do here. They go for an Aeroblast, they don't get a boost, and we will outpace them to another Stone Edge before they are able to make it to another Aeroblast, because Sky Attack's not threatening at all. The Stone Edge doesn't take them out, and they live the two Smackdowns, and they make it to an Aeroblast here. And that's really unfortunate. No, it's not, we, we tank that, for some reason. They have Incineroar in the back, and I'm going to send in Dragonite. I'm just trying to get them to throw the bit of energy they had, because Togekiss, I feel like, can clean this game up, because they have, they have Dragonite in the back. Now, they try and snipe, but we catch it. Now, they just lost that Dragon Claw while I banked my own. Now, that Dragon Claw did nothing. They make it to another one. This Dragon Claw will do nothing as well. So, the Dragon Claw will do nothing. And Incineroar is... It's a going up against a two-shield Charmer, and when you're a Pokemon that relies on the charge moves to do the damage, going up against a fast move pressure Pokemon with two shields does not win either game. I even get the four shield flex there. We see Kyogre on the lead in the next battle. Now this is a very good lead, as Kyogre should be fully walled. The opponent sends in Metagross though, and this is really not good anymore. I go for the uh, superpower, and I actually am able to land it, and now the opponent is going to throw a move. They go for the Meteor Mesh. Bastiodon tanks a Meteor Bash, and we can make it to a Flamethrower. I'm hoping the opponent doesn't realize how miserable the amount of damage dealt will be, and they do. They actually shield it. So this game suddenly looks not losable anymore. They can go for Meteor Mash, but I can shield it, and I should be able to make it to a Dragon Claw before. And also, because of the way my, I manage my energy, I make it to the Superpower as well. So that actually could have been a Superpower, so it's also a bait, which is amazing. I think the Dragon Claw might have KO'd anyways. Now, I will be able to get a full farm down with the Dragon Tails. The opponent sends back in the Kyogre. So, I don't know what they have in the back, but it's probably quite weak. Might be, uh, might be a Dragon type of their own or something. And they lose CMP in the Dragonite. Now, that is because the opponent's underleveled. Like, my ELO got pretty low for running this. And in the back, uh, this game's over. The opponent might not know the game's over, but it's completely over as I can even catch the move out of Togekiss, just for some added disrespect. They go for the Earth Power, but Togekiss really doesn't care, and we are able to take that game. We see Dragonite into Garchomp again in the next battle, and this opponent is actually running Dragon Tail, so it's not as good. Now the opponent once again tries to catch on a Metagross. This time I do farm up to the back-to-back -back superpowers, and now this superpower will do some respectable damage, so we actually do grab a shield. Now, I do win CMP on the next one, but that, that's completely fine. 
the opponent no shields it does some nice damage i thought that was cmp because i didn't i didn't see a bullet punch go through but looks like it wasn't cmp regardless i send in bastion on they go for another meteor mash i don't know why the metagross were all going for meteor mash but i think it's flamethrower plus the smackdowns the flamethrower actually could come slightly close to taking it out it still doesn't but it is pretty close the opponent then sends in Garchomp, and they could have probably gotten a full farm down. They actually do throw the Sand Tomb, so it's not terrible anymore. They're going to be hard-walled by Togekiss. There is zero they can do. Like, just nothing is nothing is going to happen with the Garchomp. They go for a Sand Tomb, not going to do much. And now, let's see what they bring in. They send in a Mewtwo, and now I can go for the Ancient Power here. Ancient Power should be able to get them get their shield, actually. And now I try and catch, but it's also not really even that bad if I fail to catch, because I'll make it to a Dragon Claw. The Dragon Claw, and the opponent sends in Metagross. Now, I need to get a full charm down here, but they, they make it to a Meteor Mash. And that Mewtwo has so much energy, I just can't shield a Meteor Mash, and we do lose that game. Into the next battle, and we lead Dragonite into Melmetal. Now this, we've seen, not very good, but it's the best matchup that we have. The opponent does throw right away, so that means I get two turns of energy, as opposed to if I was running Dragon Breath, I would only gotten one of three turn of energy from that. But now, I can throw three, and this is optimal charge move timing, and I go for the Dragon Claw. It does grab a shield, which is quite nice, and I'm going for another one. This was a misplay, I should have farmed up more, just to flaunt the superpower, but the opponent, just, they understand it's not a superpower. Now they go for a Rock Slide, and I do have to shield. And they make it to another one, and I have to shield this too because I can't afford to let Melmetal see the back line. So now I'm going to go for Dragon Claw. I check to make sure they don't catch, because I need this damage off. The opponent actually does no shield it, and we get a farm down. We're still down a shield, which is not good, but we should be able to grab that shield right back, because they send in Rayquaza. Now, the Rayquaza is severely underleveled. Once again, I said my ELO did get kind of low. The opponent sends in Groudon, and we have Togekiss. Now, Groudon does learn Fire Punch, and Fire Punch will basically, like, it takes, like, four of them to take out Togekiss. And they have two right here, but I make it to an Aura Sphere before they make it to two more. So this is completely fine. They'll make it to another one before I make it to the Aura Sphere, but the Aura Sphere will, will land on the Groudon. As Fire Punch doesn't take me out, and I decide I'm actually going to go for a farm down here, and I even get the farm down. If they got in the new mechanic, I would have had to say goodbye to Togekiss, but Bastion still might have been able to take that game. Regardless, we see Garchomp on the lead in the next battle. And Garchomp, this one, I think, is a little less uh, leveled up than the previous one. So this one probably could have gotten the simul KO, but I do just decide to throw the Dragon Claw. Now, they do go for a Sand Tomb, and, well, Sand Tomb does get me into three Dragon Tail range. There's nothing that the, the Garchomp can do against Togekiss, and we do get the farm down. The opponent then decides to send in Kyogre. And that's good because I really can't see it on Bastionon because Bastionon gets fully farmed out. I go for the Ancient Power and I actually grab a shield. That's nice because I can hopefully shield and I can just farm them down. They throw an Origin Pulse, so this might be a single move Kyogre. I wouldn't be surprised considering how low my ELO got. But in the back, oh, it's ho oh. And yeah, it's time. The opponent, there's really nothing they can do. I will be shielding here. Just because if it's a Sacred Fire, I still get taken out. And they do get the attack crop, so... I rescind my, sta my statement about saying that there's nothing they can do. Because now Stone Edge doesn't take them out. They will make it to another Sacred Fire, but... There's... They're gonna have to throw the Sacred Fire here, and they're gonna be dry on energy. Braveheart actually would not take out Bastiodon. And I can set in Togekiss. Togekiss will have an Ancient Power. This Ancient Power will take out the Ho-Oh. And while I wish I could have finished that game with Bastiodon, unfortunately the attack debuff said no. We see Togekiss on the lead in the next battle. This is not good. We're going to send in Bastion. The opponent staying in, so they're probably confused. Just why is there a Bastion on my screen? But I can make it to a Stone Edge. The opponent ends up shielding it, probably not realizing it still does like nothing. And they send in Zerud. Now, I might still not be in Power Rip range. I'm not sure. The Vine Whips probably will put me in Power Rip range, which is unfortunate, but it's not that bad. We can send in Dragonite, because Dragonite is... It's useless into the Togekiss, so I might as well use it here. Besides, if I get enough energy, I might be able to bait having Hyper Beam, and that could actually grab a shield. So now I'm going to no-shield this again because 
I mean, there's nothing Dragonite does in a Togekiss, so it's not really worth it at all. Now, I'll be able to go for a Dragon Claw. This will get the knockout. And now, when the opponent sends in Togekiss, I have to immediately switch into Togekiss. And it really kind of depends on what they have in the back. They're not switching out, though, so maybe it's winnable. I would like to take back what I just said. Metagross just kind of just takes this game. The opponent, it looks like they even forgot that I had the Dragonite, but I, I wasn't able to do enough damage in that short time, so I do lose that game. Overall, this Bastion, this thing, it's extremely fun to run in the Master League. And in the Great League, it's significantly less fun because it's just tap, tap, stone edge, tap, tap, stone edge. Basically, that's how you play Bastion in the Great League. But in the Master League, where everything does more damage, the thing actually is kind of funny to run. So this thing, well, I can use it in the Great League. I really prefer not to. But in the Master League, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. And this is probably one of the best videos I've ever made on this channel, and it probably will be one of the best videos I've ever made on this channel, and will stay that way for a long time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.